take a canvas like this, and I'm going to talk about uh, these staple guns right here. This is the first staple gun I bought, and I learned very quickly this is not so great. Um, it is really, really tough. And after doing it about a hundred times on one canvas, and if you want to build more than one canvas in a day, you shouldn't use this. Um, or if you want to paint on it after. Um, this is that, again, um, it's got this easy action. And so when you press it down, it's pretty easy, you know, and it's not going to, you know, cause you a cramp in your hand or anything like that. All right, so we've got this, and we want to put the canvas down nice and flat. Again, make sure you have enough room on each side because once you once you start, you know you're, you're pretty much set. You can't you can't go back most of the time. Um, so I got that right there going over a little bit short right here. You know, it looked like I was fine, so I'm gonna move it from at least this far. You know, that's that's the at least. I want to go over a little bit more just for room for error. So we got that same over here. More than good, more than good. Okay, and try to make sure that you're square as much as you can. Doesn't have to be perfect um, unless you want to. All right, so what we're going to do now? Um, here's these things. These are, you know, st stretching pliers. What you do is you take them like this put them into the canvas and you got this little lip here and you go over. We're not going to use them like that yet. We're just going to do this, the preliminary stretch. So what we're going to do, since we haven't, you know, there's no tension going on, we're just, I'm just going to line it up, make sure it's nice and tight right here. And I mean, if you want, you can use the little ledge, you know, but in the preliminary, you're going to do one close here, and then you're going to do another one down. And you want to make sure it's nice and tight when you do that, because you don't want it to, to ribbon up. Do another one. And I like to do one on either side, just to start, start it off. And then I'm going to hold it and make sure it's tight, just because I, I think it's easier in the long run when you do like that. <coughs> and there's that. Over. And this side, you're going to apply a, uh, a decent amount of tension. You want, it, you want there to be a line of fold in the canvas going from that side to this side. So what I'm doing, I'm just going to do this. You got long fingernails, the best to cut them. It's going to hurt if you don't. Give that a shot like that. And it's pretty tight. You get you get got the line showing up. I don't know if you can see it, but I got a couple lines going from end to end. That's the way I like it. And so I'll do another shot on the ledge. And I'm putting down a lot of pressure to hold it there. It's very important, you know, that you're always keeping pressure, you know, of pulling the canvas around. Um, and it's always best to do the four again. And, but since you've got pressure, now you got to hold it, bring it up, and then an important thing is you're going to have um, little little folds going up here. And so you know you've got it right when you've got no more folds going in the spot that you're stretching. So I'm going to do that. Another thing to keep notice is to keep, watch the grain of your canvas. If it's running in a straight line, then you're doing good. If it's not, then um, you might get some riveting going on. But um, that's not always the case. You can have a little bit. So we got four right here, four right here. So, and then before you do anything else, you got to do these. Same, same thing. Bring it around. Um, you want to make it tight. So you want to have the lines now going from here to here, from here to here to here. That's how you know that you've got it tight enough. And double check too. You got enough canvas over here, and, and I do. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot. 
put it. Um, you you want to get as much to the center as you can. I mean, that's, that's pretty important that you get in the center. Otherwise, it'll be uneven. Same thing right here and over there. Uh, this is your final ones where you're going to have to use some good strength. Uh, if you're doing a larger one, you're really going to have to get into it. You're going to have to like have your feet up and just yank it, you know. But you know, don't go too crazy or you, you'll rip the canvas or break the board. But I've done this enough, and this is where the pliers can come in helpful, you know, if you don't want to like really exert your hands. You like to get rid of the excess. Uh, Pull it, pull it tight, pretty tight, but you want to have the lines going, so if that's not happening, pull your pliers out, and this little knob goes towards the center. So, I'm going to grab it, I'm centered up, so I'm going to do this, and I'm going to bring it down. Well, this is really tight. Well, this is what, you know, this is what you're going for. You want to you want to have it like this, and have it all squared up. Yeah, go ahead and show really tight. And you got these ribbons here, but that's fine. Um, they're going to go away. <coughs> and if you mess up, you know, no big deal. You go back and do it again. Okay. Now, um, we've got these, these four done. You're going to want to work opposite sides. If you've ever put a wheel on a car, you want to work, you know, opposite to opposite, you know. So we're going to do this side, and then this side, and then we're going to do, since we went this way, we're going to go this way, and this way. So.